Hi everybody, welcome to our new playthrough of Far Lone Sails. Uh, I don't know much about this game other than that it's about exploration and maybe some puzzle solving. Um, when I first saw this game in the Steam store, I was very intrigued and I saw that it received uh, very positive reviews. So I picked it up and we're going to take a look at it today. Now our main playthrough of Stellaris will continue to release new episodes regularly. Um, but while we're immersed in a longer playthrough like Stellaris, I want to also run secondary playthroughs of smaller games like this concurrently. Um, in any case, let's jump in and see what this game is all about. Wow. Um, I love the black and white aesthetics of this game with just one splash of color on the screen. Who's that a picture of? Okay. We're going to go over this way. Okay, so we're not the only thing that's colored in this game. It's very, um, very bleak. V. I can pick up the mailbox. Guessing I can space to jump. Yes. All right. Looks like this must be our house. Um, what's going to happen if I press this button? So that just turns on and off the light. Um, let's see what's up here. We have a little balcony. Okay, X lets me zoom in. Okay, I'm not gonna drop the mailbox just yet. I think we were supposed to jump over the cabinet. I love this music. It's beautiful. Can I pick up this? I can. Is there any reason to pick this up? I don't know. What's down in the basement? A stroller. Interesting. Well, let's head out the back door and let's do a little bit of exploring. Leaving the color behind, back into the black and white. Oh, that bird has color. Looks like we made it to the beach. Okay, we can swim. What's painted on this rock? I see, it looks like a drawing of some waves with the sun and some birds. But like, it's like drawn by a kid. Like that's the kind of drawing I made when I was a little kid, bringing things home for my mom. The sun like that and those birds that are just M's. Ah, that takes me back. This is a very quiet game. There was a little bit of music. But it's very sparse. Ah, okay. Um, I have seen this in screenshots on the store page. So this looks like some sort of um, vehicle. Like a, a car or something. Uh, and there's so many buttons, I... I want to push them, but I don't know what they'll do. Um, this takes us out of the car. 
and I'm guessing, yeah, we can't, we can't run past that. We're probably going to need to smash it with the car. Is that a button? No. It's red, but I don't know what it does. Okay, so this is an elevator. What we need from this elevator... What we need from this elevator... Oh! Maybe that's to get the engine up and going? Um, is that a button? Okay, so pushing this gives us a little bit of energy. confused not gonna lie okay we've got a block here that did something our energy level is half full okay our energy level is full now did that do anything no Okay, so if I push this now, what happens if I push steam? Oh, I think I get this. So this uh, steam accumulates and you have to let it, let it out. And I'm guessing we continue pushing this in to get energy. Probably have to continue pressing this to put more um, fuel in. I don't want to find out what happens when we run out of steam. Also, this music is gorgeous. How do I get more... Um... Is this the energy? In the box? Yes. Okay, I'm figuring it out, guys. Bear with me. <laughs> this is exciting. This is a lot more hands-on than I thought. I thought we'd just kind of drive a vehicle like in any other game where you just kind of, um, you just press forward. No, you have to actually physically press the, uh, press the engine in, release the steam. Where we're going to, I have not a clue. Okay, let's continue pressing the engine. I don't know where we're supposed to get more, um, more power from, though. Oh, we gotta release the steam. I don't know where we're gonna find more boxes. Stop! Stop! I found the boxes! How do I stop the machine? I'm gonna run out of here and I'm gonna collect these boxes and we're gonna we're gonna keep them in our vehicle for uh, safekeeping. Okay. So I'm getting the hang of this. Uh, it looks like we drive for a little bit and we have to collect um, more fuel as we go. Um, and we can store the, uh, the fuel on these little hooks up here. Um, okay, this is starting to make sense to me. I kind of miss all that energy we that momentum we had up and going. It was exciting. All right. Onwards. Just plowing everything we um, 
we come across. You know, exploring any landscape would be exciting with this music in the background. <laughs> it's actually really boring outside, but... Who needs that when you've got an exciting soundtrack? this going we'll release the steam I think we will pick up some more um, energy while we're here okay keep this thing running beep beep hold up oh maybe I shouldn't have clicked that I'm gonna have to run back to get those boxes aren't I Is that an option? Oh, I probably just made my life so much more difficult now. How far away are those boxes? Is this going to keep zooming out? Am I not allowed to go that far away from my ship? Okay, well, we've got the boxes. It's going to be tedious to bring them all the way back and forth, but I guess we got to do what we got to do. Because I don't want to be stranded with um, with no fuel in the middle of nowhere. The only thing worse than running back uh, all this way right now is going to be running all this way later. All right. It's kind of spooky when the music stops. We're just all alone and it's dead quiet. Not a lot of games make use of dead quiet like this. Very unsettling. Do we need all four boxes? Mm, we probably should. I don't know when the next time we're going to get a chance to refuel is. I wish there was an option to reverse. Um, maybe there is. Have I explored all the buttons on this thing? Like I think I have. Okay, we'll go ahead and hang that up. Two down, two to go. You can just take in the scenery. It's very foggy. All right. We'll get our third box. And I don't have any more hooks to hang them on, so I might just drop these on the floor. It'll be kind of messy, but we have to do what we have to do. Okay. Um, lesson learned. If I don't want this game to be tedious, I need to be careful about not pushing the engine if uh, if I need to slow my momentum. Because I don't think there is a reverse. I don't see any other buttons on there. All right. I'm going to take this last fuel block and then we'll get going again getting unsettled by this spooky this spooky quiet and stillness I need that soundtrack back that was making me excited excited and optimistic for our journey not scared okay so I'm curious as to what this is I thought maybe it's like one of those 
Oh, we can manually just tow this giant thing along if we want. Okay, let's try and never to have to resort to that. That is awful. It's absolutely awful. Onwards. Do we get the music back? No. Okay, we'll release the steam. Um, and I think we'll get some more juice running into this thing. And we'll keep running. Not too much though. Oh, I see. It needs a lot of, um, needs a lot of power for this uphill motion. While that's going, oh my god, the steam. I don't want to find out what happens when the steam gets too cold. It's gonna explode, probably. Uh... No! Don't roll backwards! <laughs> no! Is it. <laughs> Is it worth it to get this um this extra fuel? I wonder what's in the barrel too. Okay. We need to continue. We're gonna run out of power. This certainly is kind of tedious. I wonder if this counts for fuel as well. You know what I should have done? I should just take this up to the flat part where it won't be rolling downhill and then run back and get the stuff I need. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and push this box over here, get some more power up and going. Okay, and we're gonna give it just a little nudge forward so that we won't be rolling back. Good. Oh, but of course our momentum's gonna take us this way. Well, at least we have some downhill momentum. All right, time to find out what happens when we put the barrel in. Oh, okay, so it's got like probably double the fuel. Keep it up. Seems like it goes faster when we release the steam, so maybe we need to be more proactive about that. Ooh, what's that thing? Ouch! Were we supposed to do that? Can I? Um, okay.
Oh, is that a crane? <laughs> Maybe we can operate this crane and like lift up the entire um lift up the entire vehicle. Okay, let's get to the top level. Let's test this theory. What's this? It's like a little bouncy ball. I don't think we need a little bouncy ball. Okay, it's in our vehicle anyways. Oh, that's so cool. Install the sail module. No way, we can sail like on the winds? Oh, that's cool. Probably help if our sails didn't have, um, if our sails didn't have giant holes in them. Okay, so we've got a button. No, do we have to constantly push the sails in order to get the sails to be working? I guess it's better than running the engine. What's the point of having fuel when you can just ride this way? I have a feeling at certain points in our journey that the wind's going to be working against us instead of for us. No, 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 no. Stay up. Run, seagulls, run! Loving this music. This like captures the game's atmosphere perfectly. It's so desolate and bleak and it's hauntingly beautiful. All right. A bus. I wonder where we're going to. Maybe that's the point of this game. We're not really going anywhere. We're just experiencing the journey. Oh, hey, look. We can see the wind's direction right here with the flag. So I think this is definitely going to be important for us. So we can see if there's wind. And if there's not wind, then we're going to have to... Um, Run the, run the truck the old-fashioned way. I'm keeping my eye out for um, fuel boxes because I know we missed a couple back there. Um, so I'm going to definitely stop this thing next time I come to some fuel boxes. And I have a feeling we're going to crash into this thing. Does it matter? I thought that was going to stop us for sure, but looks like we just keep on going. Uh, okay. Wind? What's this bouncy ball doing here? Okay. You know what? We're going to keep this bouncy ball safe forever. Can I sleep? Um, can I get up and around this way? No, looks like not. Let's see what this stuff on the floor is. underneath this thing? Maybe I just need to run the engine. The, en 
engine and the wind. I see the wheel starting to turn a little bit. Do we just need some more momentum? Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. This might be um, this might be a mistake, but I'm gonna take the sails down. I'm gonna drag our ship backwards manually, and then we're gonna get the engine running at the same time as our sails. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let go. I did not realize there was an underground portion here. Well, I see a button. That looks promising. That works. All right, look here, I was overthinking everything, overcomplicating it, of course I was. All right. Full sail ahead. All right. I wonder what this thing does. Oh, it's a little hose. I guess that's what happens if you let the steam steam get too high. We're probably going to cause a fire that we need to put out. All right, onwards. <laughs> Is that a stop sign in the middle of nowhere? Yeah, I'm not stopping. Not for any sign, not for anything. What's that? Shipwrecked t tanker, it looks like. Keep going. Don't let any of these obstacles get in our way. You know, while that's happening, I think we can get ourselves ready with some more power, more fuel in the engine. Because I'm guessing this wind's not going to last us forever. This is real cool. A truly massive ship. All right. All right, we'll take the sails down. Let's figure out what we need to do here. No, 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 no. Don't start the engine. Okay, um, first of all, we can get some more fuel ready to go. Okay, we'll go ahead and put this barrel right here. Um, and I see another box down here. And I see ladders. Now I'm hoping I can climb the ladders. It looks like the ship is broken. Oh gosh, how am I supposed to repair the ship? What does this button do? You know what? I will figure that out later. Right now I need to figure out how I'm going to get past this little lift. Okay, so we climb to the other side. And I'm guessing we put this in here.
Ah, oh, that is cool. All right. Does this let us drive drive across? No. This did the opposite of what I wanted it to do. Okay, no, there's another button here, so I bet you this will take it back down. Working as intended, of course. Hopefully there's no fall damage in this game. Oh, look, no, we get to gracefully glide down. Alright. Onwards! I don't know why that engine looks broken, and honestly... Oh, hold up. Okay. See if our momentum will carry us. Just a little bit. And then we can go ahead and bring the sails back out. Okay, we'll let the steam down. And... We'll go ahead and get our sails back up. Get our sails back up. I hope we can't like break the ship beyond repairs. Okay, well, there's no wind here. So that means one thing. Gotta go forward manually. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do this, and we need to get the steam. Um, it's sparking like it's broken, but it's working just fine. So you know what? Until it's not working just fine, I think we're just gonna leave it as is. And we're gonna pick up this box. And we might as well just um, store it here for the future. I don't think we need to put it in the box right now. Keep going. see another box no that's not the right kind of that looks like a pizza box never mind well maybe this works as fuel there's only one way to find out okay we'll drop this in here with the other box and let's see what happens okay hey I'll take it Okay, our truck is sounding very broken. It sounds like things are exploding and I don't like that. All right, we got some more fuel. No, wait up, wait up. We're in the middle of a storm, huh? Wonder if I need to be obsessively collecting every box of fuel that comes our way or if we can pass them up when it's obvious that we've got plenty to spare. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and see what's up with this hose. Maybe that can help us repair our broken button. 
No. Okay. Looks like the uh, wind is actually blowing us in the opposite direction. So we definitely don't want to have that sail out. Keep on going. Going. Yep. Oh, too much to too much to micromanage here. Okay. Got to remember to keep pressing that button. Some of the steam out. Press the button again. One of these boxes here. And get some more fuel in. Go ahead and drop the box, and oh my gosh, our thing is going to explode. There we go. Let's get through this storm. I'm looking at that flag. Once the flag starts blowing uh, the right way again, we'll open our sails. these boxes because we actually are starting to run a little low on um, power. Alright. Don't mind me. Well, what an interesting game. I think uh, this is going to be a good stopping point for us. I'm definitely having fun driving this ship, I guess you'd call it. Um, I love the atmosphere, I love the art, I love the music. Uh, the puzzles haven't been too difficult, but I have a feeling that might change for us in the future. And we're going to need to figure out how to repair these broken buttons on the ship. Uh, Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching, and if you like this series, uh, please let me know in the comments. I'll see you next time.